Today in our 2016 Jeep Renegade, we'll be installing the Kurt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number C13269. All right, here's where the hitch was like installed. As you can see, it's a nice clean look underneath our vehicle. So we have this nice high gloss black powder coat finish on our entire hitch. Our safety chain loops are an angular steel construction welded to the bottom of the receiver and the frame of our hitch. You see we also have this nice welded on collar around our class 3 2 by 2 inch opening to give it a nice aesthetic appearance. This hitch features a 525 pound max tongue weight rating and a 3500 pound max gross trailer weight rating. Kurt does require the use of a stabilization strap if you are going to be using it for a non-trailer application such as a bike rack or a cargo carrier. We do have those available on our website if you need one. On the side of our receiver we have our industry standard 5 8 inch diameter hitch pinhole. As you can see here, our end of our receiver is tucked up underneath and behind the rearmost part of our back bumper. So when we're loading cargo into our hatch of our vehicle, we don't have to worry about running our knees into it or our shins, possibly injuring ourselves. That's a nice feature about it. Now for a few measurements to better assist you in choosing any hitch mounted accessory you may need, such as a ball mount, bike rack, or a cargo carrier. You're looking about seven inches from the center of the hitch pinhole to the rearmost part of the back bumper and about 10 and a half inches from the ground to the top of the two inch receiver opening. We're gonna start at the back left corner of our car. It's the driver's side. Pop this rubber plug on out. Then we have two more rubber plugs to the side of the frame rail. If we go over to our passenger side, we have the same thing. Okay, we're back at our driver's side again. The bottom of our frame rail where we remove that plug we need to enlarge this hole slightly so we can fish wire our hardware through it. So we'll use a rotary tool with a cutoff wheel to make our cut. All right, now that we have our hole enlarged enough for our bolt head to pass through, we'll do the same on our other side. All right, now near our mounting holes, we need to scrape away some of this caulk with a utility knife so our hitch will go on easy. Cut it a few times and we'll scrape it away with the utility knife. And that should give us enough room for our hitch to clear. We'll do the same on the other side. Now we'll take one of our fish wires, go through the side of our frame rail, we'll feed it through until it comes out this bottom hole. Okay, we got our fish wire through our bottom frame hole. Take one of our spacer plates. Stick it on, thread it through the frame, put a carriage bolt on, push it inside the frame. And we'll do the same for the other hole there on the side. Okay. Now I want to do what's called a reverse fish wire technique. We'll thread on a bolt to our fish wire. Stick on a plate, push the bolt inside our frame, and our spacer plate, pull the bolt back down, remove our pull wire. Now before we raise our hitch up, we have these access panels on both sides of the vehicle. They're held in place with two Phillips screws. We'll remove these Phillips screws and the access panel will come off, making it easier for us to install the hitch. Okay, we'll do the same on the other side. Okay, now with an extra set of hands, we can raise our hitch in position, feed our wires for our bolts through the corresponding holes, raise it on up. Make sure the wires don't get crossed or pinched in the process. We'll thread on one of our nuts onto our bolts to help hold it in place. Okay, now we'll remove our pull wire on the side bolt. Making sure we don't drop our hardware into the frame. And we'll thread on one of our nuts. We'll do the same for the other bolt. All right, now that we have our side bolts in place, We'll remove the nut on our bottom bolt that we use to hold it up. Put another one of these blocks on underneath 
and reinstall our nut. Now we'll repeat the same process on the other side for all three bolts. All right, now that we have all of our nuts installed, we can start to snug down the hardware that holds our hitch in place. Use a three quarter inch socket. We'll do the same on the other side too. Okay, with all of our hardware snug down, we can torque it to the amount specified in the instructions. Now that we have all of our bolts torqued down, we want to make sure we reinstall our panels on both sides. Just push them back into place, push back into plastic clips in their holes, push back in on the little screw here. They're designed to be pushed back in, but you have to screw them to remove them. Do the same on the other side. And that completes our installation of the Kirk Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number C13269 on our 2016 Jeep Renegade. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.